Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this soothing ASMR cranial nerve examination. I'm Dr. Shiji, and I'm here to guide you through a calming and comprehensive experience as we assess the functionality of your cranial nerves. Before we begin, I'd like to mention a couple of important points. Firstly, this video is intended to be a longer one, but the exact duration is uncertain. This unique idea was suggested by a lovely viewer, Glacial Void, in the comments. If you'd like your comment to appear in the video, please feel free to leave an original idea for my next video in the comments below. Secondly, I encourage you to watch this video until the very end. There's a special message awaiting you as we near the conclusion. It's my way of expressing gratitude for your presence and for being a part of this calming journey. Lastly, before we continue, I want to share a quick disclaimer with you. My videos are best enjoyed as gentle companions during your work, especially if you're feeling a bit lonely while working on your computer, struggling with overthinking, or simply seeking a soft-spoken voice to help you drift off to sleep. These videos are designed more for your ears than your eyes. I want you to immerse yourself in the soothing sounds and soft speaking, letting them create a comforting ambience around you. Now, with these thoughts in mind, let's begin this tranquil cranial nerve examination. Your comfort and relaxation are my top priorities, so please take a deep breath, make yourself cozy, and let the soothing experience unfold. If you have any concerns or questions, remember, I'm here for you. Let's embark on this serene journey together. Let's begin with a sense of smell test. I'm going to present you with different scents to assess your olfactory senses. We'll start with familiar scents. I'll present common, easily recognizable scents, such as coffee. Can you identify the scent of coffee? Great. Now let's move on to the gradual intensity test. I'll present a scent with gradually increasing intensity, and I'd like you to let me know when you start to perceive it. Does the scent become more noticeable as I increase the intensity? Excellent. Now, for the next test, I'd like to blindfold you. I'll present you with various scents, and I'd like you to identify each one. I'll use scents that are distinct and varied, such as fruits. Here's the first scent. What do you think it is? Well done. Now, let's move on to the odor discrimination test. I'll present two scents side by side, and I want you to tell me if you think they are the same or different. This test helps us understand your ability to discriminate between similar smells, which is an essential aspect of your sense of smell. Are these scents the same or different? Based on your responses to the sense of smell tests, everything appears to be in good order. Your ability to identify familiar scents, detect gradual intensity changes, and discriminate between different odors all indicate a healthy sense of smell. Now, let's move on to your vision test. First, will assess your visual acuity. Please stand at a designated distance from the Snellen eye chart, and I'd like you to read the smallest line of text you can see clearly. This test measures how well you can see at a distance. Thank you. Next, I'd like to test your near vision. Please read the standard near vision chart or a piece of text at a normal reading distance. This helps us determine your ability to see objects up close. Great. Now we'll move on to color perception. 
I'm going to present you with different colors on color plates, such as those from the Ishihara color test. Can you identify and name the colors you see? This test helps us identify color blindness or color vision deficiencies. Perfect. Now, let's assess your peripheral vision. Please focus on a central point and let me know when you see an object or light moving in your peripheral vision. This test helps us evaluate your ability to perceive objects outside your central focus. Excellent. Lastly, we'll test your contrast sensitivity. I'll present you with charts that have varying levels of contrast between text and background. Please identify the letters or patterns at different contrast levels. This measures your ability to distinguish objects in different lighting conditions. Based on your responses to the vision tests, everything appears to be in good order. Your visual acuity and near vision seem healthy, and your ability to perceive colors, peripheral objects, and contrast levels all indicate normal vision. Now, let's assess your facial muscles. I'll be performing several tests to ensure the health and functionality of your facial nerve. First, I'd like you to smile broadly, showing your teeth. As you do, I'll observe if the smile is symmetric on both sides of your face. This test helps us detect any asymmetry or drooping that could indicate facial nerve dysfunction. Excellent. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes tightly, as if trying to prevent someone from opening them. As you do this, I'll observe if both eyelids close fully. Inability to close one or both eyes tightly may indicate facial nerve involvement. Great. Next, please raise both eyebrows as if expressing surprise. I'll look for symmetry in the elevation of both eyebrows. This test helps us detect any asymmetry that could suggest facial nerve issues. Now, I'll ask you to frown or wrinkle your forehead. As you do, I'll observe if you can produce wrinkles symmetrically. An inability to wrinkle the forehead on one side could be indicative of facial nerve dysfunction. Lastly, I'd like you to purse your lips, as if to kiss. This helps us assess if you can do so symmetrically. Also, show me your teeth and raise your upper lip. I'll be looking for any asymmetry in these movements. Based on my observations during the facial muscle tests, everything appears to be in good order. Your facial symmetry, ability to close your eyes tightly, raise your eyebrows, and produce wrinkles symmetrically, all indicate healthy facial nerve function. Now, as we conclude this examination, I'd like to perform our last test which focuses on your sense of hearing. Hearing is a vital aspect of our overall well-being, and this assessment will help us understand how well your auditory system is functioning. Let's start with the whisper test. I'll stand a short distance behind you, cover my mouth to ensure you can't read my lips, and whisper a series of numbers or words. Please listen carefully and repeat what you hear. I'll gradually decrease the volume of my whispers, and I'd like you to let me know at what point you can no longer understand. One, two, D, B, X, Y, Z, seven, Thank you for your participation. Now, let's move on to pure tone testing. I'll use a pure tone audiometer 
to test your hearing at different frequencies. When you hear a tone, please indicate by raising your hand or pressing a button. This test provides a detailed assessment of your hearing thresholds. Great. Next, we'll proceed with the speech recognition test. I'll present you with a list of common two-syllable words at a normal conversational volume. Please listen closely and repeat each word. This test helps us assess your ability to understand speech. Now, let's continue with the tuning fork tests. I'll use a tuning fork to perform the Weber and Rinna tests. In the Weber test, I'll place the tuning fork on your forehead, and I'd like you to indicate in which ear you hear the sound more clearly. Then, in the Rin test, I'll place the tuning fork behind your ear and beside your ear to assess conductive hearing loss. Lastly, we'll perform the loudness discomfort test. I'll determine your tolerance for loud sounds by gradually increasing the volume of a pure tone. Please let me know when the sound becomes uncomfortably loud. This assessment helps us understand your sensitivity to loud noises. Based on the hearing test conducted, everything appears to be in good order. Your ability to understand whispers, detect tones at different frequencies, recognize speech, and respond to tuning fork tests indicates normal hearing. If you have any concerns about your hearing or any other aspect of your health, please remember that it's essential to consult a licensed audiologist or an ear, nose, and throat, ENT, specialist for a comprehensive evaluation. Thank you for participating in this examination, and I hope you found the experience both engaging and relaxing. Before I end the video, I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude.
before I started this YouTube channel. The idea of reaching 100 subscribers within a month seemed like an impossible dream. But you, the incredible Gigi family, have turned that dream into a reality in just a matter of days. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support, your kind words, and for being a part of this serene space. Now, I've seen what's possible with your incredible support, and I'm ready to set a new challenge. I'm excited to see just how far we can go together, so I'm setting a nearly impossible goal of reaching 500 subscribers by September 30th. Yes, it sounds audacious, but I believe that with the amazing Gigi family, anything is possible. What do you say? Can we make it happen? I have a feeling it would be beyond cool. Speaking of milestones, I have a heartwarming update to share. My wonderful mom, who has been my constant source of encouragement, became the 100th subscriber to our channel. Isn't that incredible? I can't wait to show her how amazing the Gigi family is and how rapidly we're growing. Your support means the world to me, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And as we celebrate this journey, I'm thrilled to share that my first cranial video is on its way to, or perhaps by the time you watch this, has hit 1,000 views. This is a milestone I never imagined achieving so quickly, and it's all thanks to your incredible enthusiasm and engagement. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for making my first 1K video so special. To my mom, my 100th subscriber, and to all of you who have joined the Gigi family, thank you for being a part of this wonderful journey. Until next time, take care, stay calm, and goodbye.